Okay, so we talked about doing a large family keto meal plan. And I have to tell you, I have this amazing video that my friend Denise and I sat together and we really came up with our reasoning for creating the meals and what we put in for list. Unfortunately, after having a quiet morning, drinking coffee, working out our plan, everybody comes into the coffee shop everybody and it feels like they're yelling I know the coffee shops not mine I should be thankful but I was unprepared at how bad the audio was gonna be I'm not gonna lie as I'm trying to edit it all out the noise makes me crazy so this is my like little like warning it's fixing to be obnoxiously loud but if you can get through it power to you but at the same time it has such an amazing quality I just I wanted to keep it I just I have to keep it so the big news is we put together this keto meal plan set for a family of eight but it can be reduced down for a family of four that is six meals you know just taking in for the count that you might have you know a meal you go out you might do leftovers for us it took us we only got halfway through it we only got through three meals for this week because it was one of those weeks um, the big part is everything's really printer friendly there's a link below to a website where you can see it all and you can actually then print it out mine's in black and white I'm being cheap so we talk about why we picked and how we add to it but then most of all the money part here is the actual um, shopping list so the shopping list is just for the keto food it is not for all the carb things you add to it because that's just kind of personal preference and then what i did was after i made that list i went and printed out all of the recipes from the websites that are linked within so it's all here and then i will put a divider in next month when we do list number two i'll put it in the back there this takes a lot of work to do so be very patient with us as we're getting it there's no other way i could get this done without my friend denise um bringing it on for me i hope you enjoy the rest of the video i am so terribly sorry about the noise and it was such a good conversation i hope you can tolerate it here we go hey it's just so trish and i'm really excited this is kind of the first of a series hopefully coming up I have my friend denise hi and if you caught us over on Facebook, we did a quick live one and we are kind of coming up with a large family keto meal plan. So the background to this, as you know, I'm doing keto now a little more successfully for the last four weeks with, um, oh, what did I say, six pounds down? Yeah. It's kind of like, it's, but it, it looks way more than six pounds. Yes. And the reason why I'm finally like third time, fourth time's in charm doing keto is because I went to camp with Denise, who you've been doing keto since February, yeah. and you've lost 50 pounds. Anyway, so I saw what she ate, and I realized I wasn't doing the keto diet, I was doing the meat diet. And the meat diet wasn't working, and that's why I was gaining weight everywhere, in weird places. And I, kept, and I was always hungry, too. I wasn't ever full. And so I saw what she ate, and I, like, as I was, like, pigging out on the carbs that weekend. <laughs> I went with my own ramen noodles. I mean, it was bad. I was just like, by the, by like the last day, I was like, I'm so sick. Oh, why am I eating this way? And we won't mention the donuts. And so, <laughs> but I was like, when I get back, I'm on this. Oh my goodness, my eyes were just like revealed like, oh, I'm eating this wrong. So, um, gotta forgive us. We're in a coffee shop, no control. Um, hopefully you can hear us. So I was trying to meal plan. You know I'm not a good meal plan. Denise is kind of a winger too. She has a large family, three grown boys and a young daughter, Addie's age. Actually, they're right there, yep. right together. And they're buddies. And with my large family, kind of coming up with keto adapted large meals because there's not really anything out there. Right? I hope you can hear us. So we figured two heads are better than one. We're not really creating meals at all. We're just trying to find good ones and making it about like an eight serving right. kind of um, thing. So if you only have four, take it and split it in half. Now you can freezer cook and you can like prep out for, you can get two weeks out of one of our So our plan, we spent the morning much longer than we thought <laughs> without internet, which was even harder. 
um, our favorite coffee shop doesn't have internet today. Something's wrong with it. But um, coming up with a few. So what we will have is down below is a link either to a web page or just to a document file. And we will give you the links to all the places we see are all, where all the recipes are and a summary of a shopping list. So if, you know, you'll see, it's like a chart. You'll see what you need for each one to make a serving of eight and then what the total things you need to buy. So we're doing this to make our life easier and we figured we would share, share the love. So we're gonna talk about some of the recipes we came up with and what we decided to do. We didn't wanna go, we have two soups in there this week. Right. We didn't, we almost went for a third one. We're like, oh, I think we're like ready for like fall or something. It's, like, it's been so hot. We're like, we want fall. Um, and we'll talk to you the way we did it. We decided to do six dinner recipes because in our world, we either go out to eat one night a week or there's a thing for yourself one night a week yep. or there's um, church one night a week that we go to to make it easier. And so we came up with six and then we did a bonus meal plan of, um, Denise is going to talk about in a probably later video if I can get her to do so, but we'll have a post about it. Um, her, her, the way she adapts 90 second break. And so we have that link in there too. So our first meal that we came up with was the keto jalapeno power soup. So this one is actually by um, Ivory that I'm hungry. It is very similar to the trim healthy. Book. So if you don't know, I'll put a link to this book before. If you do Trim Healthy Mama, you'll very much know these recipes. And the recipes kind of alternate between a carb recipe and also a fat recipe. So if you're using your Trim Healthy Mama cookbooks, just stick to your S recipes. Right. But the one thing I run into with Trim Healthy Mama, they're very cheese and dairy heavy. Yep. So if you're not cheese dairy, this will kind of become a problem. But this is really a nice book to have. Sometimes if you're plateau, you have to cut out the cheese and the dairy for a while. Yeah. I haven't done that and I'm on a plateau. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just pushing through though. So our follow with the jalapeno poppers, it makes like a really creamy soup. And then for our non-keto family members, we were talking about um, a baked potato. Or garlic bread. Or garlic bread. Yeah. Having a salad to it. You know, especially for the summer to have such a thick soup. Yeah. You definitely want to pair it with something light. So that was our first one. Now the second one you found. Creamy low carb Tuscan shrimp. Okay, and we found this one on the dietdoctor.com. It's very versatile. You can substitute your asparagus. If you don't like asparagus, you can use broccoli, broccoli or zucchini. I like to add mushrooms. Now the recipe calls for a sun-dried tomato. Sorry, I got my laptop right here. That's how I'm knowing. And you said you do cherry tomatoes? Yep, I just cut them in half and put them in towards the end. Let them wilt a little, more of a fresh flavor. And um, we're gonna give you the listing for a serving of eight. The recipe actually is made as a serving of four, so we're just gonna double it. So, so serving this with your non-keto family. Over pasta. So just adding a side of cooked pasta, maybe a linguine or a um, spaghetti would be a good one. All right, our next one, this is kind of a self-created, so we kind of like created this one and we'll have a whole thing. We'll make sure you can find it. And it's freezer lemon butter chicken with sweet potato fries and salad. So um, this is going to be like your fresh chicken thighs. It's a butter, lemon, garlic, kind of a dunk chicken. So you can take it, do your marinade into a freezer bag, throw your chicken in there and freeze it. And then when it comes out, it marinates when it freezes, it marinates when it comes out. And so like, So you can put it in your crock pot or you can put it, bake it, whatever you want to do. Um, and then the idea is you can serve it with sweet potato fries for your family. And then like for us, I'd probably eat mine with a side salad or maybe yeah. some like steamed broccoli, butter broccoli, mm -hmm. you know, any Brussels sprouts. Or Brussels sprouts. Oh yeah, Brussels sprouts. And I like gut buying those all frozen. I just yep. buy them frozen, especially the steam in the bag one. Yep. Just keeping it easy. Load them with butter. Load them with butter. But then now your family... I usually just put sweet potatoes in the oven. I bake sweet potatoes, but your family prefers fries. Fries. Yep. So, so I would just cut them up, put them olive oil on them, and bake them. And bake them, and that's it. And then, um, you know, like a side salad would be good. So that was our other one. That's our third meal for the for the week. 
This one is one of Denise's. Lasagna stuffed chicken. I'm kind of really excited because I like stuffed eating chicken breast. You know, even though it's 99 cents a pound, I really enjoy the chicken thighs. I always prefer the flavor. And they're preferable because they're higher in fat. You don't want to eat a lot of chicken breast on keto because it's high in protein. It's high in protein, not high in fat. But I still have chicken breast to get rid of. And now this is another um, two to four servings, so we're going to make it appropriate size. Now tell us about when you do this. Just, I guess you'd take butterfly, the chicken breast. So you'd slice them so you know you make them twice as big. You make your typical lasagna filling with your ricotta and egg and your Italian seasoning. Stuff it in there. I use fresh mozzarella. Slices on that. Close it. Put some marinara on. Cheese and bacon. And bacon. bacon. Now is this another one that then you serve with pasta on the side? And that's real easy. You can and, you know you can kind of or you can do a base pasta. You can even with my family they like spaghetti squash. Oh okay. So I'll do a spaghetti squash and then I trick them into a full keto meal <laughs> and they don't even know it. And that's just the thing is like. If you choose to be keto and the rest of your family chooses not to, it doesn't mean like I have to cook two meals. Right. It means I have to come up with like your keto main and then figure out how to then make it to satisfy them. To satisfy them yes. But then you're not tempted. Alright, so number five, I'm actually making this one tonight, is the crock pot low carb taco soup. And this one came from um, simplemamablog.wordpress.com. And it serves four, so we're gonna double. This one's um, really a good one. I like it. It's got the ground meat. We're just putting ground meat because some people want ground pork, some people want ground beef, some people just use whatever is ground in the fridge. If you're using a really lean meat, add the fat. Yeah. Add the fat back into it. You know, you can do that with um, coconut oil. You can do it with ghee. You can do it with butter. Just, but make sure you have that fat content in there. And it calls for broth, but we are saying get bone broth if you can get the bone broth. So we have that one, and then I had to pull in egg roll in a bowl. This is one of our favorites. You haven't even made it I'm yet. gonna try it tonight. You can try it. Um, it's such an easy way, and I'm gonna give you a hint. Egg roll in a bowl. I actually will buy my cabbage slaw mix mm -hmm. and just throw it right into the freezer. It doesn't matter, it's going to wilt anyways. I'm going to right. cook it and it's going to wilt. So instead of leaving it, always have it on you hand. Always have it on hand. I like to buy mine at Sam's because I like a big, huge thing of it versus the little packs at Walmart. But I like Walmart pickup, so I'll end up getting the little packs at Walmart. <laughs> um, and I really like this one. We pulled this one from peaceloveandlowcarb.com. Is it's calling for sesame seeds, toasted sesame seeds. And I haven't done that before, but I bet it would be amazing. And don't skip on the sesame oil. The sesame oil is phenomenal. It brings so much flavor to it. It's only every once in a while, or I'll do a fried rice style. Sometimes I'll buy the rice already made that you just heat up in the, in the microwave because I mean, Mama Six, there's only so much I can do. Or sometimes I'll do J. Morrell's um, large table fried rice, and that one works out really good too. So that's what we have this week. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you try. I do want to tell you, um, we're going to try and clean a little bit, and I want to see everybody's progress. So whatever you make, whatever you get, Instagram it and hashtag large family keto meal plan. That's us. And I want to see what you're doing. And if you have a recipe or you have a um, share, share, leave the comments down below because it was hard. Yeah. Finding recipes. And sometimes you find out you really don't like them. So if you find something you like, mm -hmm. share. Share because it's hard coming up with those recipes. We're going to go because it was absolutely silent when we started this video. <laughs> and apparently it's coffee time. And we've been here two and a half hours. They're getting kicked us out. We're getting kicked out. So. <laughs> so definitely let us know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this. If this is something you definitely want to see, thumbs up. Share this video with your others. Everybody say hi to Denise. And just thank her for actually helping me get on the right road with you that I can finally find something in a way that it works.